go off the run, it's time to go. I was just doing that so that my hands don't feel cold when I'm recording. So, let's get into it. I, after yesterday's talk, have decided to make this week very active. I've got quite a few things going on. I've got something going on. I've got um, my coaching session today, which I'll soon be um, heading towards after making this video. That'll be the third out of the fourth one. Then um, I'll think of something to do tomorrow. Wednesday, I've got the fourth out of the fourth one, and then by that time, I'd be definitely asking for a starting date on the apprenticeship, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, I've got uh, a universal credit appointment. I'm not sure if I'll need it though, because I have, um, I would have finished all of the, the coaching sessions pre-apprenticeship, so by then, I would imagine I would have got a starting date, but if I haven't, then I can, keep on going with the appointments like I'm not like I wouldn't have got a starting date but I think I I, th I think I would have it sounds like my coach Alex is wanting to take me on so um, it seems like he's very willing to train me and I'm I'm very it seems like I'm quite coachable I want to do it so I don't think I'll have any issues there and um, then after Thursday I'd have something going on on Friday. I'd be going over to a different job opportunity, which is closer by than the other part-time work that I'd be doing. It would be um, just another fitness instructor sort of job, but it wouldn't particularly be coaching. It, it would be part-time though, at least at the moment anyway. But I think by then, um, I would have been doing the apprenticeship for a while and then we'll see if I'd be getting full time work from there. I don't know how I don't know how that's gonna pan out. I'll just I'll just have to see, I'll just have to find out. But yeah, I'd be doing the apprenticeship and maybe this work instead rather than the other place I was going to. Uh, because of basically because of travel costs that's one of the main reasons because I wouldn't have to spend as much because of where the, both of the jobs are um, that would then mean I don't spend as that that would mean I don't spend as much on travel costs and also because it wouldn't take as long as well that also mean I'd, um, I'd be making it easier for myself to build on other sources of income for example or I'd be giving myself more space to make video or I'd be giving myself um, I could give myself more space to make these sorts of videos for example or to just check in with myself and make sure that I'm okay so because I've given myself this structure and I'm now uh, I came up with the idea to use a calendar again today um, we'll see how it goes I think because I'd be using the calendar I'd be giving myself more structure so that um, which would then mean uh, so I'd like to imagine I'd have I'd be building more hope and um, I wouldn't be feel, I wouldn't be feeling so hopeless about where I'm at in the moment I'd be able to see yes I've got this going on I've got this going on I've got this going on which I have on my calendar and my coach has um, got a my coach has got uh, a calendar that is basically just, it, is, it seems extremely organized. And seeing as it works for him and he's able to do his his job seemingly so effect effectively with the sessions I've had, I think that will work. Without it, he will not be able to, I don't think without it, he would be able to do the things that he does at the level he does them at. So I've got to say, shout out to him and um, thank you for all the coaching that I've that you're taking me through. Thank you, Alex, really. It's because of you, I might be, and my, and my efforts as well, I might not have to deal with back pain before I'm 30. So I've got to say thank, thank you very much. And um, I'd like to imagine I could keep on training and learning with you guys over there at the gym that I'm going to be going to now. Thank you, seriously. It helps having structure, and um, I think 
with thoughts that I'd have about with worries of things that I've said in the past that are completely unrelated to what we're talking about now I think being able to feel grateful would also help with that which would then mean making it related back to this I'd be able to experience more peace of mind which would mean I can do my job more effectively or, at, or rather my jobs see because I'd be working in more than one place because I'd be do I'd be doing the part-time and then I'd be doing the apprenticeship as well and building up other sources of income that I'd I'd genuinely want to do anyway so yeah things are going things are going I'm making sure that they are at this point with the help of the calendar which I'd be using to give myself more structure and I can very obviously see I've got this to do on that date this date things are moving forward and I'm making sure that they're moving forward um, me having the calendar and make it uh, a lot I'll be making I'm making it a lot easier for myself to believe in that with the help of the calendar but anyway I've got to go if I don't end it now I might be late to the appointment I might get there later than expected so let's be signing out cheers to feeling more um, peace of mind from day to day and becoming healthier living more ideally day by day bit by bit even though like with last night for example sometimes especially with lack of structure and therefore lack of hope it seems like there would be no way out from moment to moment but with the help of structure and with the help of um, gratitude that won't be a problem anyway I'm done about I've got to go so cheers to moving forward in life peace <laughs>